back in the garage with Josh. He's um, cracked on a little bit. He's cleaned the block off a little bit and he's just about to uh, flatten it off with an oil stone. And then we'll... Don't ask me, I don't really know much about it. Just to get the high spots out. Um, if he's had the head skimmed. Where is the head? All right, you can see yeah. the head there. We'll have a look at that in a second. There's the old turbo that came off. As you can see, Josh is messy as. He has, in the meantime, been on Facebook. In the meantime, since we last saw Josh with this big turbo here, he's been on Facebook and realised that the exhaust housing on that one will probably be too big for the application. So what's that one, Josh? HX40. HX40s, um, the but one on your left is a HX40 hybrid, so it's using a HX35 exhaust so. housing, um, the HX40 compressor housing, um, and it's also got a billet um, wheel in there. Um, and it's also got the 12 centimeter exhaust housing off the HX35 versus the 18, if you look at the size difference. You can see the size difference there. Um, and basically with the smaller exhaust housing, it'll be less laggy. Spool up nice, well, a lot, hopefully a lot quicker. Um, yeah, we've also decided to go for um, some bigger injectors whilst we're here. Yeah, they're out so on the bench, the just here. Um, they're going to go off to Bosch with some new nozzles that I've just ordered. Um, so I've just gone for the biggest 200 brake horsepower injectors that I can get. Um, and then coupled with that turbo and a bit of tuning on the old pump, um, we should be looking between 300 and 350 horsepower. Got to have the pump off or just generally just tweak it? I just tune in tweaks just to get the boost up. Um, I'm told that turbo can produce 40 PSI plus. Um, so uh, rumors on the forum is about 45 PSI, um, anything sort of over 40 PSI. So were you, you were at 28 before, 27? Uh, 28 without this one. Oh, without the blanket, because obviously one. it has so much coolant. a million liters of coolant. So he's got that blanket on the grill. It so it actually warms up and it I mean we were driving around like when you went and sunk it for what an hour before that and it was still only at like 65 70 degrees so just it's just not getting off I just don't think my Ling Long Ting Tong um, Chinese turbo um, that one's been sold that's been sold can produce it if anybody actually views this and we actually do get any viewers that HX40 there will be for sale won't it Josh well uh, Mike going to make a hybrid of his own out of it. Which, remember, he's got the HX35 wholesale proper genuine turbo on his truck now. So he's already got the correct exhaust housing. Yeah, so he'll just be able to hopefully use the hot side from his turbo with the... I suppose it's... Just, yeah. With the cold side from this turbo to make that turbo. This is just doing a very minor sand. I've already got the most of the residual head gasket, the old one, like all the crud off with the air wizard. Um, obviously, that's not the idealist thing to do, but I don't really fancy taking this whole truck to the machine in place to have it machined when the head gasket didn't, didn't go. go as such. The head um, gasket got really broken by wrong. pressure with the block. I have noticed some minor pitting in there, which is normal because at the end of the day, it's still probably been, this engine's probably, well, it came out of a 1998 truck, so it's probably made 1997. So it's done some fair use, and I bet it's never had a cooling change in its life, apart from obviously when it was put in this, yeah. in the lorry. And it just got some minor pitting, nothing to worry about. We do have a bit of high Lamar to put on the worst affected areas, but we'll see how it gets on with this because 
You said put some effort into it, and it might take an hour, might take half hour. That it's means Josh would give it another five minutes and it'll be done. And that'll do. Now, the, um, you can see the high spots, and I can see what he means now um, when we're sanding away. The bits that aren't getting, that aren't getting sanded are obviously a low spot. Um, we're using the coarse side at the moment. I'll probably do another sort of 10, 15 minutes of, of this coarse side and then I'll go over to the smooth side. Um, I see the head gasket will take up a lot anyway. It's a pretty thick head gasket. Is that another genuine one, Josh? That's it, yeah, it's coming genuine. I don't think you can buy an aftermarket one. Well, there's not many people wanting to modify them, I believe. Well, if it's in a lorry, it never has a gasket. No, exactly. They're, before the boys on the forum realised that I'd sunk it, um, they were like, um, oh, check the oil cooler, check the oil cooler, check the oil cooler, oil in the water, that's the oil cooler. And it was only when they scrolled up the comments that they read, oh, yeah, I have been driven by Such a little puddle as well. If it was a proper off road, it would have lived. But then I have ordered two, uh, 2.5 metres of 4 inch polished pipe, 390 bends, so one, two, and three, we'll bag off that snorkel. That's for sale if you want it. Um, oh, what, you're not using guys? I don't it's too small. It. Can't see it. No, it's too small. All right, anything, so you're gonna have to make a custom snorkel. Yeah, anything less than three inch, um, oh, sorry, three inch including um, chokes and it just can't get the air. Yeah. What are you looking for, mate? 10 mil, mate. Great. Always the 10 mil. I'm pretty sure I gave you a 10 mil a little while ago as well. I've got one, but it's six sided. That's two six sided ones I've got. I need a multi sided. Why do you need a multi sided? Because the bolts are multi sided. I don't know which bolts you're undoing, to be honest. Oh, so they are, yeah, I see them. It'd be that one there. You can't see it. There it is. That one there. Josh decided when doing the engine conversion that he couldn't be bothered to sort the power steering pump out that comes off the lorry. So what pressure did they run at, Josh? Well, it wasn't the exact science because two conversions that have been done before they use a slightly older pumps and they, they're adjustable to pressure. That one's not adjustable. Why don't you get an older pump then? You can't get them. Can't buy them. Fair enough. Um, rarer than hen's teeth. And um, so we just went with what was on there. And they were in a, I think, and I'll be corrected, no doubt, it's about over 100 bar, if not more. 160 bar. And the um, Land Rover Zero Box can only take 60. So what happened? Was it two, three times now? Uh, top the line which ain't really an issue um, and it's done two steering boxes always picks the best time to go as well doesn't it yeah. <laughs> always picks the best time to go so we've bought a reconditioned pump that's been turned down to 60 bar um so that's on its way yeah we should be we should be laughing and that is maybe it is an 11 you wouldn't have to look for a 10 mil if it wasn't there, would No, the famous 10 mil. She'll go in. Anyway. It's because you're a messy git. Uh, Why'd you look at that? It's where it's supposed to be. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Joe. Yeah. Wouldn't believe it was in your garage. How's that gone for you? <laughs> that is very tight for a 10 mil ball. Oh, there it goes. Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh, he's got that camera. Yeah. Oh, it's on the eyes. You're blind! <laughs> you got some lube on your face there, mate. Mm. Ah, at least it's not petrol. It's in my eyes, though. Oh. Does it stay? No. Uh, on a sting rate and it's a 1 out of 10.
Rotten. We need to uh, get that line off. So there's two lines, one to the steering box, and one from the standard Land Rover uh, reservoir. Not where you left it? Grand Lakes and walked away. It's only an iPhone, don't worry about yeah, it. Just don't care. That is unbelievable. He's actually trying to catch a fluid. No, that's all the old engine off. That's what I mean, you're trying to catch a fluid. Yeah, Normally you just let it go on the floor. Let it drain out, because otherwise it's just going to keep trickling for ages. Um, I won't put that there. So there is the culprit. But it's not done anything wrong. It's what you've done with it's wrong. Yeah. So that's being sent off and being remachined. Oh, you have a your one done, or are you just no, no, it? swapping. So that one so will be done exchange. for someone else. Yeah. Cool. Nothing wrong with it. Someone else, you mean other people want to put a Cummins in their Land Rover? Yeah. Yeah. Of course they do. Of course I do. Not after watching this video. Yeah, this You're going to need that. Yeah. We'll leave it with the pump for now. When's your new one turn up? <sighs> How long is a piece of strength? Hopefully it'll be a cool <laughs> You're cutting it fine for before Christmas, mate. You only ordered it Tuesday night. Clean surface is thoroughly and trim out, free from dirt, oil, and grease and rust. Spread highlight red evenly on both surfaces and allow the solvent to evaporate. Put the two surfaces together and secure with the appropriate fasteners. Excess product can be cleaned off using a rag. Retighten the fasteners to the desired torque after 15 minutes well. Most of that instruction is irrelevant. Because you're just going to do it up damn tight. You're going to be damn tight. You're going to have to get the torque side in a minute. Well, I'll get it bolted down first. It's always going to go off for a while this time. Well, he knows how you use that bit. Genius. Okay, now, for now for the fun bit. Head. Yeah, now for the head. talking so <laughs> ain't got much batteries in it. <laughs> hurry up with this thing. Oh, I've never put batteries in it. One of these and then we want an eighteen mil. 
Have a socket.